Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another exciting episode of Retro and Tell. I am once again joined by my good friend Top Hat Gaming Man. Hello there sir. Hello you. Thank and I am joined by Guru Larry. You are indeed. Hello. Isn't that an exciting intro? Now today we are going to be talking about a handheld system you don't own. I don't unfortunately and I own a lot of bloody handhelds. I bloody love them. Oh, you've got a Neo Geo Pocket as well haven't you? I have. And a Wonder Swan. And a Wonder Swan. And a Nomad. Game Gear. Game Gear, yeah. Virtual Boy, yes. um, a plethora of Game Boys, a cornucopia of them actually, there's mm. a lot of Game Boys and DS models isn't there? There are indeed. Yeah, and I've got but quite a lot of them. We are going back in time to the very first cartridge based handheld system ever released, the Mi Milton Bradley Microvision. Here it is. Yes, before we talk about this I'd just like to add and that um, earlier in the week, about, about no, I say earlier in the week, about, about a week ago, yes. um, a bloody Larry um, yeah, some advised, bloody YouTuber. Me yeah. to <laughs> advised me to bloody buy one of these on eBay, mm. um, and so I thought yeah I'll buy that, um, I thought, um, I'll tell you what, I'll wait a couple of days and then I'll treat myself, Yes. Um, come back a couple of days later bloody Larry's mentioned it um, <laughs> in one of his videos and they're all gone and sold on eBay because another 250,000 people have heard about them. Oh. So no microvision for Top Pack Gaming Man. Yes, denied, but I've got one and I'm going to rub it in. Bloody oh. hell. Oh. Anyway, look, let's look at Larry's one yes, instead. Let's look at Larry's one. I have to say, the box is bloody fantastic looking. It's a... Uh, good old fashioned, good old thick cardboard. Yes, it's, it's like... It's like um, it's like a, a board game box, which is, um, it's obvious really, it's made by MB. Yes. So it's probably made in the same factory the board game boxes were actually made. Quite likely. But look at this, look, that's beautiful. It lifts off just like a board game box. Nice. And here it is, the bloody uh, Microvision. Yes, the Milton Bradley Microvision. And it uses two square batteries. See, now, now look at that. That is a real handheld, ladies and gentlemen. You could bloody bludgeon someone <laughs> with this thing. <laughs> yes, and play it when the police come. Yes, 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 I'm sure that'd be fun. Arrive, you can entertain yourself. Sorry, officer. It was self-defence. One minute. Hang on. Get my school. But yeah, this is a real <laughs> bloody looking handheld. Um, when did you say this one was 1980. released? 1980. 1980. So it's after the Atari 2600. Yes. <laughs> VCS as we called it. Yes, we... people, people hate it when I call it the Atari 2600. They, oh. they get really yeah, angry. I so I get people angry when I call a Super Nintendo a SNES. Yeah, I get that sometimes. I don't even get that one because SNES... SNES yeah. and NES. I think, yeah, that's Violet Berlin come up with that, I reckon. Yeah. The old bad influence presenter. Again, it's, like, it's a bit like Kid Icarus as well. Yeah, Kid Icarus. Icarus. Kid Icarus. Yeah, yeah. another one. <laughs> and yeah, so yeah, Blockbuster. Can you turn that on for me? Yes. This is uh, the exciting adaptation of the rental store. Oh. So yes. It, Excellent. So the first level is you have to rent out uh, uh, Big. Okay. Yes, Tom Clance. So is Tom the, Clance. Does the game Tom end Clance. with going this liquidation? It, it does. Yes. Okay. Well, yeah, yeah. You have to avoid by uh, purchasing Netflix on the seventh level. Okay. But yeah, press the uh, start button. That's the start button. You press it again, and you get the blocks. So ah. I think you press the button again to start the ball. Okay. So don't don't worry, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. You'll be able to see some footage as we speak because. Uh, not very uh, good at not Mr. very bloody good at this. Yeah, Mr. Top Hat gets rather enthralled in so it's really primitive. This gaming. is fun. I, I, I like it. Really? I do. I find it boring. Yes. I'm sorry. I, I'm so spoiled by modern lot like, gaming nowadays. Like, I'd rather have a PlayStation Four than this. If I no, this this is much better than a PlayStation Four. This has not made me sit down with any tutorials. You'd literally just said, "Press that button, <laughs> done," and I had to play it. Like, you don't have to return it on. You'd have to wait for downloading. It's not like Final updates. Fantasy Fifteen when I bloody played that the other day. It made me, I think, a half an hour tutorial before I played the game, something like that. Oh. This don't instant, instant fun. Okay. Well, you did die straight away. <laughs> instant fun, yeah, instant game over as well, apparently. So, yeah, that is Blockbuster. That is a packing hand. Ironically, probably the best game. Didn't you say this is the first ever cartridge-based handheld? It is indeed, well? yes. And uh, let's have a look. Do you want to have a shoulder? See, Ladies look at that. That is, that is innovation. Like, that is like... The whole thing yeah. is a cartridge. I mean, it's, it's quite like... good that you don't have to faff around with sort of... So you got to think as well, did this device potentially influence the 3210 range of Nokia phones with the changeable faces? Because it's, it's a handheld with changeable faces, like, who needs bloody Snake? Exactly. And Snake didn't have come out on this, by the way. 
which is strange. Did Snake even exist in 1980? Don't think so. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, of number two is the exciting game of bowling. Ah, oh, bowling, like um, yes. the the American super bowl. The as super well. bowl, yes. Yes, that's yes. how we pronounce it in this country. Oh, you're you not see. actually you're not allowed to uh, you're not allowed to say super bowl. Actually, we can say super bowl because it's not copyright infringing. They get really upset. That's why they, you always see things calling it the big game in TV shows because they're not allowed to say super bowl. Oh, really? Yes. That's that's you, outrageous. You know that? Yeah, because <laughs> it's actually copyrighted. Uh, yeah, this is uh, bowling. It's bowling! You don't know nothing! You should go kill yourself! Thank you very much for that. <laughs> yes, uh, this is the exciting 10 pin alley uh, uh, extravaganza where you um, yeah, you do strikes. Uh, so let's plug this in. It's quite. It, it's got more give than it does, so you don't have to feel so scared when you're taking it in. So, yes, let's see how many strikes you can get. That's basically a start button. Uh, yeah strike strike in all fairness it's uh, very easy to get so it's like we sports you know you can if you got the right if you knew the right angle the right thing you another strike it. it's exciting have you do you remember uh, wwf with mr perfect bowling perfect mr bowling M mr perfect when he used to do bowling and stuff like oh, that okay. in the promos no i don't remember oh, mr perfect basically it would be like shots of him like being perfect at everything, like perfect oh, okay. at bowling, perfect yeah. at darts, and just like getting everything. Yeah. I'm basically like that. It's the first time I've ever played a game, and I've getting everything spot bloody on. See if I get a third strike in a row. Good old Kurt Hennig. Oh, <laughs> did you did you miss it? Look, oh seven ten split. That's enough of that. Oh, there you go. You're giving up now. Oh. So yes, that is uh, bowling. Uh, the next game, there's a, there's only a handful, but they come in these really nice boxes, uh, per se. Yeah, so the boxes are amazing. I feel so gutted that I didn't manage to get mine now. Right, you always have a chance. This is Shooting Star. Could you imagine Space Invaders, where there's only one alien? Yes, that's this is what Shooting Star is. Uh, and it's not based on the, uh, the Vic Reeves game show as well, okay. unfortunately. Because I really want to see those fingers. Which most people probably won't know what the hell I'm talking about. <laughs> there you go, that is Shooting Star. Okay. You're really nervous about plugging it in, aren't you? <laughs> it's not... Yeah, you can break your own stuff, Larry. Um, we say that it's like Space Invaders with one um, alien. It's not just one alien, it's Space Invaders with one alien where you can't move the ship either. So you can... Let's... So... Oh, it's level two. I got to level, level two. two. Level two, level two. Oh, you missed. We're doomed. The Earth is doomed from this <laughs> really long cigar-shaped alien. Are they getting smaller, the aliens? I don't think so. Level six? Level six. Or is it a points you've got? Must be points. You're not a very high score, is it? Six. Okay. Oh, is that it? There you go, that one. shooting star. You've had enough fun of that. Uh, I haven't got all the collection. Uh, they did do a couple of games based on other MB properties. There's a Connect Four game, and I think probably something else. Uh, I can't remember. Sh Shame they never released Marble Madness on this thing in like 1983. No, I love Marble Madness. Are you still not bought the Japanese version? I haven't yet. No, no, it's disgusting. I see. Uh, next one is Flipper, the exciting game based on the dolphin-based TV show. Uh, no, it's not. It's actually a rather crummy pinball adaptation. It's exactly, essentially, it's blockbuster with uh, holes in the screen that you bounce off. Do I have to play this one? Well, you can, well it's just your... Oh, you don't want to play it? Oh, sorry. No, thank you. Oh, okay. and, uh, sorry, I think pinball's for old nerds. Okay. So, yes. Yes. We don't know nothing! me just... Okay. Uh, the last one is Sea Duel. Oh, brilliant. So, uh, yeah, a realistic naval strategy game to play against an opponent or the computer or two player. Uh, unique memory feature allows you and your opponent to plot your moves and firing patterns separately. They watch the battle being played out on the screen. So basically, it's battleships. Okay. Which is odd because MB own the rights to the name battleship. <laughs> so, why didn't they call it battleship and sort of get a bit thin? So how could 
What, is it one player battleships though? Well, unfortunately it's missing the, the metal thing. Uh, right, no, this is two players. We can play against a computer. Uh, you're going to have to... Uh, I don't think I've played this that much. I can't remember playing. I just I only plugged it in to see if it worked. So look, there's lots... Look all the buttons on there. It's like an Atari Jaguar, this one. So you can try and have a go at it. Try and work it out. I don't think you'll get too far. Ooh. I should shoot. be good at this. I am... Um, are I'm you any good, good at battleship? No, but um, I'm good at sailing, you see. Oh, okay. Do you I know, remember how long I was playing this one before? <laughs> oh, no, we didn't cut. Ooh, that was yeah. new. I got a point, apparently. <laughs> Someone got a point. Sign. Does that mean I won? I don't know. I think it's one of these games you have to read the instructions. I've got the instructions, so. But yeah, it's, it's just, this is the, the token confusing one. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Okay, well, um, <laughs> let's be honest. We're too lazy to read the instructions. Yeah. So, so we don't um, sit here half an hour, do we? That's yeah. literally all you're going to get to see of that one, unfortunately. So, yes. So this, so this is the MB Games Microvision. So yeah, I think I think Blockbuster was uh, the best game of that lot. It was yeah. de ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. definitely. Yeah, it was quite fun. It was like yes. um, breakout on an LCD screen. Um, Shooting Star was um, novel, Space Invaders with one alien, yeah. with a ship you can't move, so innovation there. Innovation, yes. And um, bowling as well, it was literally, it was bowling wasn't it, so yes. we can't really complain Good about that. Good old 10-pin bowling. Yeah, so yeah, Microvision, do I want to own one? Hell bloody yes. yes. I still really want to bloody get my own Microvision. Oh, well hopefully... People have forgotten about my video by the time you come back. Yes, and, 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 and the irony would be this video somehow now goes viral yes. as well, and then and that would end ones. my dreams of ever getting yes. a but, micro video. Yes, especially if I put out they're really cheap right now. <laughs> they're really cheap and get really. He's lying, he's lying. <laughs> so get them. Shut up, cut!